Hey, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have the opportunity to install a uh, one of our one-piece design uh, dash caps on a 2007 Suburban LT. Pretty clean little vehicle. Hey guys, this is uh, leadership and McAllen there, Roadrunner Motors. They sell some really top-notch vehicles. If you're looking for a good used vehicle, give them a call. Again, it's Roadrunner Motors in McAllen, Texas. I'll get you a little shot of the outside of it. Actually, pretty nice vehicle. Then we'll step into the part where we're going to show you how to put the dash cap on or give you some of the basics of it anyway. I guess the main thing that we're trying to create is some before and after shots. Driver's side of this thing is not looking too bad. It's got a small crack above the hump over there where it meets the small piece in the vent section. And then we got a whole bunch of cracks on this side over here. There's a little shadow from the light or something in the pillar post in the vehicle. Again, it's a 2007 Suburban. We're going to be installing a dash cap on it here shortly. All right, we got some real serious rain coming in here in South Texas here in the next couple of hours. So we're going to try to get this on before the weather comes in. This is an ABS vacuum molded plastic dash cap from uh, TX Dash Covers. You can buy these online or give them a call at 956-533-6811. Online if you want to purchase it. Secure checkout, the whole nine yards. TX-Covers.com. Spell it out. T-X-D-A-S-H-C-O-V-E-R-S.com. <clears throat> These guys have been in business since 2001, selling these dash covers over and over and over to many buyers throughout the U.S. This is the new improved design. We used to make these without the uh, center louvers in them or center covers or defrost vents. This new design has those built into it. <clears throat> this is also a, a one-piece design. The vehicle currently has two separate pieces now. It has the section that goes from here to here. And then it's got another section that goes from the front of the airbag to this side right over here. It makes it a lot easier to install. You got one unit, snap it on the vehicle, you're good to go. You'll also see that the underside of this dash cap is very, very smooth. So once you get it, you may take a piece of sandpaper and rough up the areas where you're going to apply the adhesive. Gives it a better bonding surface and keeps the cover in place for years to come. It'll also have a small lip right up here that hugs around the instrument cluster area. Wraps all the way to the end here. It's a little lip around the defrost area so it goes in there so it's hard to see it's a dash cap. But here we go folks, this is the bottom side of the uh, TX-Covers.com 2007 Suburban Dash Cap. I decided to also include a couple of more pics of a, a short clip of the video of the cracks from going through the top of the windshield so you can see them maybe a little bit better. There is a bigger one over there. I thought it was small, but it's quite a bit bigger. Then you got a whole bunch on the passenger side. Folks, I know we got some background noise on the road, but uh, there's not much I can do about that. I also wanted to uh, kind of get into the picture on this part of it here. This little lip here sometimes on some of the 2007s and 8s, for some reason or another, it uh, has like a rubber gasket underneath the front of the dash, and this may not sit down. Uh, we can't change the way the, the dash is designed, but we can come in there with what they call a little paddle wheel on a grinder. Uh, you can use a utility knife or anything similar, a buffer or whatever you want to. But this is what we use. It's an old cheap Harbor Freight grinder with a sanding pad on it, sand, sanding wheel, this sander. And we just come in here and we just take some of this off. I'll run through part of it right now to show you what we do to resolve that problem. I've had to take as much as 40 to 50 percent of the front lip off right here so that it sits flush in the vehicle. Once you grind this way, then kind of go at an angle like that right there. 
let me show you with the flat surface first, then roll it over a little bit of an angle, and then you take that, that burn edge right off of it. And it looks nice on the other side. But yeah, like I said, sometimes we have to do that uh, to get this front section to sit flush so that it makes to the other pieces that are left in the vehicle. Just something we wanted to throw in there so you see uh, if you run into this issue how to resolve the problem. Hey guys, I'm back again. For those of you that have never installed one of these ABS vacuum molded plastic dash caps, all I can tell you is don't overthink it. The harder you think, the harder the installation will be. It's practically simple to, to install one of these. You, don't, you only need a few small things of a actual RTV seal bond, a little bit of sandpaper to rough up the edges. And what we've done on this one here is we've just kind of went around the edge lines mostly and we roughed it up with the sandpaper as you see here just to give it a little bit more biting area once you apply the uh, bond flex. Again, like I said, just don't overthink these projects. Uh, I have a lot of buyers call me and say, hey man, this is, looks really hard to do. It's really not. It, it, again, I can understand it's intimidating. But uh, sometimes you think outside the box, you think too hard and make things a lot harder than they really are. These dash covers are really a simple installation. I'm hoping that this video I'm putting together will help walk through, walk y'all through some of the process. Okay, now it's time to prepare uh, yourself for the installation of the actual dash cap. Get you a couple of towels, uh, shop rags, or whatever soft material, something you can put on the dash so you can add some weight up on top of that to hold the dash in place once you got it installed. You uh, also use some of this uh, plastic pipe uh, insulation that you wrap your pipes for the winter with. And you can take this and roll it up there on top of the dash cover once you have it installed up by the front of the windshield and it kind of holds the front of the dash down. The other thing is you're going to need you a couple of pieces of cardboard, say about 12 inches long, and fold them in a trifold or some just type of folded like that so they're kind of create like a spongy accordion effect. And I'll show you when we get to the step on the installation where you're going to put these to save you some time and uh, you won't have to sit there and hold that dash cap down in that area. The other thing I failed to mention earlier was uh, we use acetone to clean it, the bottom of the dash cap before you install it. You can use any, uh, you know, anything similar to that, denatured alcohol, acetone, paint thinner. Just be careful with it, don't get it in other parts of the car because it can ruin your, your material and fabrics and some other stuff in the vehicle in some cases. The other thing you'll need is some type of weight to put on top. I use old square tubing, inch and a half by inch and a half. Uh, put the cotton rags down and then put the weight on top of the dash. You want to try to keep it as even as possible. You can use anything, books, uh, dictionaries, whatever you have. Uh, try to keep them pretty even in weight. And uh, really pay attention to the area where you're going to be uh, putting the weight at. You know, some parts of the dash may be a little higher than others, and you want to really isolate those and make sure you get those down. Because remember, wherever you leave this dash, that's where it's going to be when you come back after it is fully installed. All right, as you can see here, again, we got the background noise. There's nothing I can do about that, folks, so bear with me. You can see here we have applied the adhesive to it. From this point on, you don't have a lot of working time, so you really need to get the dash cap installed in the vehicle. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out where you need to put this stuff. Mainly concentrate around the edge lines more than anything else. And then install it in the vehicle. Alright guys, we got the dash cover sitting in the vehicle. The adhesive is applied underneath it. You see it makes a world of difference. The airbag looks like it's been replaced so the cover will not match it 100%. But it's way better than all the cracks that was there before. Now our next step is to add a bunch of uh, weight, cardboard findings, uh, pieces, and we'll get you a video of that as well. Give us a moment. Alright, we've got the dash cap on as we said in the earlier part of the video. Now we've taken our cloth and laid it up on the top. And we've taken our pull noodle or our actual insulation for a PVC pipe and we rolled it up by the windshield to keep the front section level and even. We also take, remember I told you in the video earlier about the cardboard, fold it up like a trifold or something. Open the door up here, and once you open it, make sure the window's down where you can reach your hand in here. Grab that cardboard, slide it in between this piece here and, and the door. And what that'll do is that'll squeeze that in place so that it stays there where you don't have to sit there and hold it like a dummy all day long. 
Let me walk to the other side and I'll get you a video of that. Again, we appreciate Roadrunners for trusting us uh, putting dash covers on their cars and trucks. We've been in business a long time, guys. Uh, that's all I can say. Uh, all right, we're back to the, the driver's side. We just left the girly side. You see, I got little billet weights up there on top, holding it down where it's pretty even. Same thing on this side. You got a couple rags on there with a little weight to keep it down even. Make sure that it goes down around the defrost vents. Same thing. Fold the cardboard over. There you go. This section will stay down so it doesn't come up. And you don't have to worry about sitting there holding it. Well, guys, that concludes this part of the video. Uh, once it dries, I'll get you the finished product and show you the before and after. Again, like I said, if you need one of these dash covers, don't hesitate to give us a shout. TX-Covers.com Locally owned and ran by veterans. Alright, this is the end of the video, folks. This is what it looks like after it's installed. As you can see, you're going to have a little lip over here, right on this corner. It's not bad. When the door's closed, you can hardly even see it. But this is the finished product after it's installed. Way better than the crack dash that was on it before. Again, we'll go back to the airbag. It looks like one time or another, somebody did replace that airbag because it is not even close to being the black that's in the vehicle. Even the original dash wasn't uh, that light, so it, it's indication that that airbag was replaced at one time or another. Again, this is a 2007 Suburban uh, LTZ, not an LT. I said earlier in the video LT, but it's an LTZ. This is a dash cap from TX Dash Covers. You can buy it online if interested at TX-Covers.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like and subscribe button if we did a good job. Any questions, give us a call, 956-262-3166.